So I'm getting ready to start on probably a bit of an unusual project for inside of a camper. And I'm getting ready to build and install a barn door in between the master bedroom and the bathroom. So when we moved into the camper, there was kind of a just really flimsy fabric type uh, accordion door thing that was in between the master bedroom and the bathroom and it was already kind of tore up wasn't really working properly at that point when we moved in our anyway and so we really have just had it not there we've had nothing in that opening since we moved into the camper and really one of the main reasons we need to get something back in there is because during nap times giggles sleeps in our room and every single time someone comes in to try to use the bathroom they wake him up and that's turning out to be a bit of a problem because well, he's a baby he needs sleep so uh, that has kind of bumped this project up uh, the priority list a little bit and I'm gonna try to start working on that today and hopefully get it done uh, Whitney and the kids are gone right now they're uh, spending some time um, just enjoying nature elsewhere and getting a chance to get out um, and see some family friend do some stuff like that um, so I've got a little bit of time here before they get back um, to go ahead and start working on this project I probably won't get it done before they get back But my plan is to hopefully at least get quite a bit of it already started The first part is uh, to build the door. So I'm gonna try to get down. I've got some Actually, we had some old barn wood That I found out in the barn whenever we moved into the property. It's rough cut timber It's really I hope it's gonna clean up real good. I, I, I like rough cut wood. I like the look of it I like the, the look of old barn wood but we're gonna to try to use that. I'm gonna to try to clean it up a little bit and shape it and build a barn door out of it. So hopefully we'll have a pretty nice looking barn door by the time I'm done with it. So I know it kind of looks here like I'm making some weird cuts, but the wood that I'm using, since it's rough cut wood that's been sitting in a barn for a while, was actually pretty rough. And some areas were pretty eaten up by bugs or just rotted it away so if it looks like I'm cutting weird cuts off the outside edges that's why what I got in the end was pretty good and I was very pleased with the final product so I am sanding down on these old planks I'm trying not to sand too hard because I do like the look of the old rough cut wood and I want to keep that but I do want to hit it a little bit to sand it down, make it a little smoother. My hands have a tendency to pick up any available splinter that could be picked up, so, and one of my children is the same way. Just trying to make it a little smoother, but a little nicer as well. All right, and after a great deal of sanding, this is the result. This is the basic door right here. So my next plan is to use Craig jigs to or Craig jig screws to screw these together and then I will put some one buys across one side of it to help hold things together and be a little bit decorative give it the more decorative barn door look and cover up the Craig jig screws that I'll be using to primarily hold the door together Well, I started to record using the Craig jig, but it is so warm and sunny out here today that my phone actually overheated and I was not able to continue. So, I've got three rows of Craig jig screws going in. I'm going to use these to hide my Craig jig screws and also serve the purpose of being decorative. So yeah, just about done with the, the door build. And then I will be able to focus on putting the hardware on it and putting the rail up and getting it hung. All right, so I put these on. The instructions that came with it are actually really pretty accurate. So I am using the smart standard um, kit just got it off Amazon not promoted or anything, but 
No, it was pretty inexpensive, um, but had some pretty good reviews on it still. And that's that was pretty easy um, to put on. Just measure drill holes and bolt it on. And it had the, the specs and all that inside the instructions. So, no, that was pretty easy. Now for the hard part. So I knew whenever I started to do this project, one of the more difficult things was gonna be the fact that the header is non-existent in the doorway. There is no header. It just goes all the way to the ceiling with the opening. So what I've done is I've cut a um, makeshift header. I've kind of made my own header. And I'm gonna use the Craig jig set again um, to create some pocket holes and hopefully drill it into the sidewalls um, frame. I don't know if I've even got anything above that I can drill to, but I know I've got wood on the sides that I can anchor this into on the sides. And then I will be putting in a header board all the way across behind the pocket door railing anyway. This is primarily just kind of finishing off that doorway and giving me something to bolt to within that doorway area. Okay, here we go. The new header for the door in between the bathroom and the bedroom. So I've got the header board up here. And I don't know if you can see, I've got some screws over here. I've got some screws right here. And then I put the block over here, but my block is only a two by four, or is only two inches. And uh, the three inch screws that I was using in these other spots are gonna be way too long for that. So little man just ran to go grab me some screws for this side over here. And then we'll be finished putting this header board up. And then we will start working on putting up the rail for the door to go on. So very exciting. As I'm beginning to measure and mark this out, you may notice I'm not actually using the level for a whole lot of it. And the reason for that is because the camper is not setting perfectly level at this time. It's kind of settled a little bit recently. And so what I'm trying to do is actually make it level, or at least in line with the camper, so that whenever the camper is level, the door is still in line with it. I did have to go back and make some adjustments after the initial putting it up because the, the left hand side here was just a little bit too low. The door was dragging just a hair on the floor. So I did have to go back and raise that up, but here you can see everything is working just fine now. There's a couple little bumper things on the top that are gonna be there to help keep the door from jumping off the track. At least I'm thinking that's what they're supposed to do. And the last thing was just to add in the bumpers on the end. If you go to add this, make sure you put the rubber side towards the door. I put them on backwards the first time and had to go back and do it again. But after figuring that out, got them on and the door's working just fine. All right, we are completely done with the door project. And it looks good. I don't know if you noticed, but it did slide a little bit before I uh, tweaked it a little bit. That's just because it is sitting level with the camper and the camper is not completely level at the moment. So it is gonna slide just a hair at the moment without having something to help hold it in place. But other than that, when the camper's level, it'll be just fine. And good to go. All right.